start off with, what we're going to be tying is a damsel nymph. The one we're going to be tying is what I like to call the ultra damsel. The body is out of a synthetic tubing material. It's a new product that Umqua Feather Merchants is carrying. The shell back is a combination of epoxy and medallion sheeting. And the legs are called Sparkle Damsel Legs. Another pr new product put out uh, by Umqua Feather Merchants. And these are damsel eyes. What makes them a little bit more unique is if I turn them, you can see how they kind of slant back instead of just one ball of burnt mono. And those again are put out by Umqua. Now let's tie this little critter. To start off with, we're going to be using a 3769, and we're going to be using clear monofilament thread. So we'll get that on there, and wrap back to just just beyond the point of the hook. Now we're going to tie in the damsel body. We'll take it and hold it up here. And this we want it to be about twice the length of the hook gap. Tie it down nice and tight. And then we'll trim off this excess here. And then make sure it's tied down. And as I'm using the mono thread, you can see how translucent this is. And that's the effect that we want. Then next, we're going to take some of the medallion sheeting come up. We're going to cut a little strip of it. This is going to be our wing pad and thorax area. So we cut a little strip. And then we're going to take one end and lay it back over the body. Take a wrap of thread and then come forward a little bit. Then make sure this is sticking straight out over the body. And then fold this one back over, tie it down, a couple turns of thread. And now we're ready to tie in the legs. Use some of these sparkle damsel legs. We're going to use a series of figure eights to tie it in. And since we're going to be using epoxy, we only need a couple turns to hold it in place. Bring the thread forward a little bit. We'll grab another leg here. And again, we're going to use a couple figure eights to tie it down with. And that's all we need. And then come right in front of where we cut off the body. And then we'll grab another leg. Let's see if I can grab that there. And again, one more figure eight to tie these in. Just like so. Then I'll take a couple turns of thread, come up forward, pull on the legs to kind of even them out a little bit, and then we're ready to tie in our eyes. So we'll pick up our eyes here. And we're going to start tying these in right in front of them legs. We want to leave enough room between where we tie in the eyes and the eye of the hook so we have enough room to tie our wing case down. So we'll take several more turns, just kind of build it up a little bit. And then we'll end up with our thread right behind the eyes. And then we're going to take our wing case, pull it over, and just do it loosely, don't pull tight on it. Just leave it loose. Come over the top. Then I kind of pull forward so the sheeting pulls into the eyes with one wrap. And again, leave it loose. Take another wrap right behind the eye and tie it down. Trim off the excess. And now I'm ready to grab my whip finisher and tie it off. 
do take a few turns with the thread here just like so take off our thread now for our wing case we'll just lift up that piece of medallion sheeting And I'll come in, just kind of trim it at an angle, and it gives me my little wing pad area. Now before I start to epoxy, just pull the front legs forward a little bit. Make sure you have the middle leg right in the middle there. And the back leg's pointing towards the back a little bit. Now we're ready to mix up some epoxy. For this I used DevCon 5 minute epoxy. And I just used some stick it notepads to mix my epoxy on. And we'll just take our Bakken, mix it up. We'll make sure it's mixed up nice and good so it hardens just right. After it's set for a minute or two, we're ready to apply it. So we'll get some on our bodkin, come up, we want to go a little bit onto the wing pad, and right over the thorax area. And we'll add some more. We just want it to go in between the legs here, just like so. Then we can flip it over a little bit. Just add a little bit to this underside to cover up our thread wraps. By using the epoxy, we're going to have a totally transparent thorax area. And then we'll do a little bit right around the eyes. Just like so. And that's what's going to form our head. Just like that. And wipe off our bodkin. And the key thing to remember here, is I'll turn it sideways, is we have a definite segmentation, narrow area, between the eyes and the thorax area right here. If you use too much epoxy and it flows into there, well then you know you've used way too much glue. And this is the desired shape that we want. And we can, if you have a rotary vise, you can leave it in the vise and just twirl it until it dries. But as you can see, these legs are pointing down a little bit. What I do is I'll take it out of the vise and I'll just set it down off to the side and let the legs support it. Just like that and I'll let it dry and I'll go on to my next fly.